four tips how to start running for blood pressure. The first question is why do you actually need to run to lower blood pressure? It's uh, running is a progression to uh, walking and uh, also a moderate aerobic exercise. So what happens is that as we get uh, older, our blood vessels uh, get uh, more stiff, they limit uh, the flow of uh, blood, and hence our blood pressure goes up. And uh, in order to uh, uh, make our uh, blood vessels uh, flexible, and then the natural way to, of doing it is actually uh, an exercise, aerobic exercise, which will force uh, the blood vessels to expand, improving blood flow, and that helps uh, to keep blood pressure in the normal range. That's why American Heart Association recommends to do at least 150 minutes of moderate aerobic exercise per week. And in order to get a training effect, you actually have to progress to uh, running. But we'll talk about this in uh, just a few seconds. Tip number one is uh, how to actually get uh, started, because many people complain that they run out of uh, breath uh, when they run. So uh, the way to handle this is uh, to combine walking and uh, running. You walk for a quarter of a mile and then you run a quarter of a mile. When you feel that you run out of breath, you slow down and uh, uh, start walking again. Walk for a quarter of a mile and then run again. And by doing this, you will prepare your body for the running exercise. Tip number two is protecting your knees. Many people complain that they can't run because their knees hurt. To make it easier for your knees, there are several techniques which you need to deploy. First of all, try to run only on soft surfaces like grass or gravel roads. Uh, tip number two is uh, practice uh, so-called uh, mid-foot landing, where you uh, land uh, on a uh, middle part of your feet. To uh, practice this, uh, it's, it's a good idea to uh, run barefoot sometimes on a beach, uh, for example, or on a lawn, and that would uh, uh, force your um, foot to land properly. And uh, so then when you start running, it puts less pressure on, on your knees. To uh, keep a body pose where you lean forward and uh, uh, at a certain angle. And the way to practice this angle is uh, to uh, stand still and then uh, lean forward until you're forced to make a first step. And uh, remember this angle position and uh, uh, that is the angle we should, should try to uh, maintain while running. Tip number three is how to select uh, your running pace. And again, the American Heart Association recommends that uh, you should aim to run at a speed where you can maintain a conversation which corresponds to zone two heart rate. And you need to maintain zone two training effect. Otherwise, you're not training your cardiovascular system to uh, help uh, lower blood pressure. Initially, you can calculate the heart rate needed for zone two exercise using the following formulas. 220 minus uh, your age, and that will give you approximate uh, maximum heart rate. So uh, I'm 60. If I uh, deduct 60 from 220, I will get 160. And uh, that is uh, my theoretical uh, maximum heart rate. And uh, zone two is uh, uh, zone between 70 and 80% of the maximum heart rate. So in my case, it's uh, between 112 and uh, 128 beats per minute. However, it's just a starting point because what you will see is that as you uh, progress, your uh, body will uh, accommodate and uh, your zone two will shift. We need to maintain uh, exercise in zone two to get a positive effect. As you uh, progress, your heart rate for zone two will shift and uh, you in inevitably will have to progress from walking to uh, running. Uh, blood vessels become more flexible. You will see that you will need to man maintain higher pace to stay in uh, zone two. So uh, the best way is uh, to uh, uh, maintain zone two is to use a smartwatch, which will take into account your age and uh, uh, the, the practices which you do, and it will adjust the training zone as needed. Tip number four, how to maintain your habit of uh, running. 
and uh, uh, the research in psychology shows that we tend to uh, stick with our habits if we perform them always uh, after an action which uh, we perform every day. So therefore we need to uh, find uh, a habit which is already established. Uh, for me it's uh, waking up and because I wake up uh, every morning and I know that if I go uh, running after waking up there, is, there are no excuses and uh, that helps uh, to build uh, good habits. So uh, wishing you good luck with your uh, run and uh, please let me know in the comments whether I found these tips uh, useful or whether you have any other tips which uh, you uh, use when you go running for blood pressure. Stay healthy and have a wonderful day.